Hi friends and welcome back. Today's story is about a bad influence and how it affects the cubs in our book. Let's join the Bernstein Bears for another great story. Let's get started. The Bernstein Bears and the Bad Influence. The Bernstein Bears and the Bad Influence. When new friends get together to have a little fun, the result can spell trouble for nearly every one. The Bernstein Bears and the Bad Influence by Stan and Jan Bernstein with Mike Bernstein. One Saturday morning, Sister Bear came home looking like a storm cloud. She stomped up the front steps, through the house, and into the kitchen. I'm never going to speak to that Lizzie Bruin again, she declared. Oh dear, said Mama. Lizzie must have done something pretty terrible. That's right, said Sister. She invited me over to play Barbies. It was supposed to be just the two of us. But when I got there, Anna, Muffy, and Jill were already there with their Barbie dolls, and there wasn't any room for mine. But dear, said Mama. It seems to me that you can't have too many friends. Yes, said sister, but Lizzie was my best friend and you can only have one best friend at a time. With that, she tossed her Barbie tote to mama and stomped back out. Miranda Moss, who was about sister's age, was in just as bad a mood as sister. Miranda was new in the neighborhood. She and her family had just moved in around the corner from the Bear family. Miranda didn't want to move. She was upset about it. She was upset about leaving her friends, her school, and her neighborhood. I know you're upset about moving, Miranda, said her mother, but your father was transferred to the Bear Town office and we had no choice. Now, why don't you go out and have a look at your new neighborhood? Maybe you'll like it. I'll go out and have a look at it, said Miranda, but I won't like it. Maybe we could go for a little spin, said Miranda. You could show me around. Sure, said sister, mounting the trike. Hop on. Miranda climbed on back. Okay, said sister, here we go. And off they went with sister pedaling hard and Miranda hanging on for dear life. Good, said mama, looking out the window. Sister has found a new friend. What's the matter with her old friends? Asked papa, coming in from his shop for a cup of tea. Sister had a falling out with Lizzie Bruin. Nothing serious, just the usual sort of cub spat, said Mama as she watched the trike whiz by. Any good hills around here? asked Miranda, hugging Sister a little tighter as she paddled on. Lots, said Sister, but Steep Bear Cliff is the best. Can we try it? asked Miranda. Sure, said Sister. It's this way. I know a shortcut we can take. The trouble was that the shortcut was through Miss McGriz's tulips. hi o cow bear cried Miranda. Yippee-yay, cried sister. Miss McGriz was inside watering her begonias at the time and saw the whole thing from her window. My tulips, she cried. My beautiful tulips. One of those cubs looks like sister bear. Well, I just might give her mother a call. Deep Bear Cliff was very high. Sister hesitated at the top. That's Farmer Ben's place down there, she said. I know, said Miranda. We bought some vegetables from him this morning. Well, well what, said Sister. Are we going to go down Steep Bear Cliff or not, asked Miranda. I've gone down on a sled lots of times, said Sister but I've never gone down on wheels. There's always gotta be a first time, said Miranda. Okay, said sister, taking her feet off the pedals. 
Here we go. The trouble was that there was a curve at the bottom of Steep Bear Cliff, and they didn't quite make it. They rolled into Farmer's Ben Orchard and into one of his apple trees. They knocked down quite a few apples. Are you hurt? asked Miranda. I don't think so, said Sister. Hey, these look like pretty nice apples, said Miranda. We're supposed to stay away from Farmer's Ben's apples, said Sister. But since these are already on the ground, they'll just rot said Miranda. They scooped up some apples and put them in their pockets. Hey, how about you peddling for a while, said Sister. Fine with me, said Miranda, and off they rode munching apples. Farmer Ben was feeding his chickens at the time. He didn't know how it happened. All he saw were cubs loading up on his apples. Why, that's Sister Bear and that new cub. Well, their mothers are going to hear from me. What's that big thing parked in the road? Asked Miranda, pedaling on at Sister's direction. That's Grizzly Gus's cement mixer, said Sister. He must be doing some work. Maybe we can write our names in the wet cement, said Miranda. The trouble was that they were already writing through it. Pedal harder, cried Sister. Steer for the woods. Grizzly Gus was jumping up and down and waving his cement smoother. That looked like Sister Bear and that new moss cup, said Grizzly Gus. He reached for his cell phone. I know a back way home, said Sister, but we'll have to cross Mud Creek on those stepping stones. But the stones were for stepping, not riding. They fell in. It wasn't deep, but it sure was muddy. They pulled themselves out and headed for home. All in all, it had been quite a Saturday morning. The phones in the treehouse and the moss's house were ringing off the hook. Yes, Miss McGriz, this is Mama Bear. Sister Bear and another cub? Your tulips? Oh dear. Hmm, I think I know what's going on and I'll certainly deal with it. Thank you for your call. Well, said Mama, turning to Papa, I was pleased when Sister found a new friend, but it's perfectly clear that this new friend is a bad influence. Meanwhile, over at the Moss house, Mrs. Moss was on the phone with Farmer Ben. Miranda and a cub named Sister Bear stole your apples? Oh dear. I think I know what's going on, and I'll certainly take care of it. Well, said Mrs. Moss, turning to Mr. Moss, Miranda seems to have found a new friend, but unfortunately this new friend is a very bad influence. At the treehouse, Mama Bear answered the phone again. Yes, Gus, this is Mama Bear. Wrote through your wet cement? Sister and another cub? How awful. I'm truly sorry, Gus, but I think I know what's going on and I'll certainly deal with it. And to Papa, she added, that new cub is an even worse influence than I thought. Sister's not to have anything more to do with her. Mrs. Moss was just as upset about Sister as Mama was about Miranda. I gather this new friend is a cub named Sister Bear said Mrs. Moss. I'm going to call and complain to her mother. Now, I wouldn't do that, my dear, cautioned Mr. Moss. Not until... But Mrs. Moss had placed the call. Hmm, she said. The line's busy. It was busy because Mama was trying to call Mrs. Moss to complain about Miranda. Just then, Sister came in the front door. My goodness, said Mama, you're a mess. Yeah, we fell into Mud Creek trying to ride across, but it's just mud. It'll come off, said Sister with a grin. You certainly seem a lot happier now, said Mama. That's because I have a new best friend, said Sister. Her name is Miranda. That's something I want to talk to you about, dear, said Mama. 
you and this Miranda seem to have been having quite a time. I've had a number of angry calls this morning. I'm afraid this Miranda is what you call a bad influence, and I don't want you playing with her anymore. That's not fair, protested sister. It was my fault, too. I was just as much a bad influence on her as she was on me. Besides, we didn't get into trouble on purpose. It was kind of an accident. Well, you two are going to have to make things right with your neighbors, explained Mama. Sister Bear and Miranda had a very busy afternoon. After planting some new bulbs in Miss McGriz's tulip patch, they stopped by and explained about the apples to Farmer Ben. Then they apologized to Grizzly Gus for messing up his new cement. He was very nice about it. He even let them write their initials in a corner of the smoothed out wet cement. The next day, Sister not only made up with Lizzie, Anna, Muffy, and Jill, she introduced Miranda to the gang. After all, it was just as Mama said, you can't have too many friends. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed today's story about Sister and her new friend Miranda and how they did some things that maybe weren't quite right, but they made sure to go back and fix them and apologize. If you enjoyed this story and would like to see others, please visit my channel at the Teachers Read Aloud and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.